We're going to get started before Austin gets uh, in, of course. Yes. Are we going? Are we good? Um. Hi. Hassan wanted to start just so he could talk shit on Austin. Yeah, no, literally, because I think I have very good reason. <laughs> you want to know why? Yeah, I want to know. Austin's been here. How long? He's been here. He's been for, here for hours. I'll get into how he got here and how he rushed over here drunk. But before we do that, notice how he's on the phone. He is currently he's, on the phone. He's having a phone call. You are late. I'm as late. Always. I'm you always are like late. 40. It's a problem. How many minutes were you late? 30. You're, you're 30. You're exactly 30 minutes mm -hmm. late to the dot. Okay. Because yeah. you came from uh, San Diego, wherever, <laughs> wherever oh, people are. But of course, oh. Austin, you were here. I know. I know. I, I don't know. Why'd you start without me? You could. No, you I, I started without you to make a point. Good. Well, I was on to the phone. To make a fucking point. I was on the phone. When, even when you're here. With who? Very still late. Oh my God, you, you're such a fucking queen. Are you kidding? Why don't you bring anything? Yeah, you don't bring anything. This is unbelievable. It's, it's, it's you yummy. eat everything oh. in my house. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. Marsh. What kind of cookies are these? Why didn't you okay. take the whole thing? Why didn't you? Why, well, you you're an animal. Oh, oh shit. You're an animal. Fucking Mike. Who does um, that? Oh, my chaps. Who does that? You're you're already destroying every... We just started. I know. I know. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll make it happen. We'll figure it out. What, what kind of here, cookies here, are these? Here, 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 here. They're raspberry here, here, here. bars. Here. Mm. Uh, it's good. It's good. It's good. I don't here. know why Austin can't eat like the... Austin... Oh, you're going to make such a fucking mess, dog. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Here you go. I'm fine. Here, here. <laughs> Look, you were uh -huh. here already, and you still managed to be late, later than Cutie, which is impressive. Look, I was on the phone, and Hassan pulled a fast one on me. I, I just, that's not he, true. He just started the podcast. That's just you know what not I mean? true. What were you on the phone about? We're sitting uh, here waiting for you to be done with your I fucking was, phone. I was on a very important business meeting. No, he's talking to a, like an ISP provider. Yeah, like I, was, I was talking provider. about internet. My internet's been a little slow, so I was like trying to speed it Why up. Why do you bit. need yeah. the internet? You don't even. Stream. Yeah, that would suck oh. if your internet was slow. You know how much bandwidth you need to stream OnlyFans videos? <laughs> like none. <laughs> this is the reason no, why you need to. You yeah, I need high speed internet. What do you got? Like eight monitors? Like, what the fuck are you doing? No, I will not jerk off on uh, on my computer. on top of on your work computer. No, that's a good lesson. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Probably yeah, a good kinda, idea. Kind of a good idea, isn't good it? Good idea. Good idea. Uh -huh. I mean, you never want to... I have always been principled on that. I have never jerked off on this computer. I feel like it's weird. I, I'm not even in a jerk-off mood. Because, like, this is my yeah. work This space. is the workroom. Yeah. This, this would be is, so strange to just you to jerk off in here. Yeah, I know. Have um, you ever? Be honest. No. So... You ever thought about it? No. When it, I worked at the Old Navy... Sometimes I'd have overnight shifts and I'd have my boyfriend bring me like coffee or something uh -huh. overnight. And I was like the manager. And so um, I would send everyone on lunch break, but I would stay in the building and him and I would try to have sex in the, really? in the fitting room because that was oh the only area God. that didn't have cameras. Wow. It didn't work because he was too shy. Yeah, what do you mean try? What a pussy. Yeah. Well, was, don't call him names. He did his best. Was it Ludwig or something? <laughs> I love him. Yeah, she was working at Old Navy. <laughs> yeah, Ludwig. <laughs> Okay, this is insane. Yeah, yeah, you can make it with any jam. Apricot, you're a, you're a bad orange person marmalade. Uh, amazing. I have a diet to uphold, and you're big. I do not have. I haven't eaten enough food today. This I do bake great. alongs. We made this yesterday. Multiple. Really? Yeah. So I post the ingredients in my Discord, and then people can get them on. And then they show up on Saturdays, and they learn how to bake it. That it's is super cute. Amazing. And very wholesome. Wow. Oh, and like a good like twenty thirty people posted their pictures of this. Would you bring some chocolate chip cookies next time? Um. What do you think she's fucking, uh, you know? Yeah, next time. I'll take requests. No, I'm so sorry. Was that rude of me? Yes. I just thought, I love your baking, and I just wanted a chocolate chip cookie from you. That's so wrong. Please. You're, like, making requests. Like, she didn't have to bring this for us at all. Yeah, Katie, I'll this bring is, it. This I'll is bring wonderful. Austin. I would love a chocolate chip. I'll be here chip. at 6 p.m. sharp. No, look, Katie. Hey, next time, how about you do a bake along with chocolate chip cookies? You know, change yeah. the content. For you me. know what? I'll do it, and I'll I'll be a part of it. How about that? I'm Ooh, inviting myself on. Didn't your invite street. you, so <laughs> <laughs> this is, it totally just keeps going. Inviting myself um, on the stream. Um, but look, thanks, Hassan, for starting the podcast <laughs> without me. While I'm like, you could have been like, "Yo, we're starting," but you just didn't. He you, wanted to talk shit. I did. He you did. didn't even get to finish. So Austin's been at your house since when? Uh, like I've been here since like five. And it's 6.30 right now. 
And you came over drunk. Uh, yeah, I've sobered up though. Wait, is that what he is that what he started? Is that what he said? Yeah, I was not. Look, you Hassan, were not as bad as you were last time you were drunk. Look, Hassan, I was on. I've got secret agents in the Hassan Abi community. That no, you're just in his Discord. Discord. Yeah. <laughs> so I was getting tagged by my secret agents in Discord. Oh my God, that Hassan. Was watching a Jubilee video. Is that what it was? About dick sizes. About dick sizes. Uh-huh. Right? And um, I was like, this motherfucker is watching a dick size video, and this guy doesn't know nothing about cocks. Uh, nothing about cocks. I know plenty about cocks. He has nothing about cocks. He won't even suck one. That's how little he knows about yeah. cocks. Okay, we found out you don't suck them, too. I don't enjoy sucking cock. Uh, yeah, it means you're probably mid at it. No. All right, look. Do you enjoy sucking cocks? Is that an acceptable question? No one does. Wait, really? That's oh. not true. It's not true. What did I say? What I say? Not what I true. say? All women that say they do are lying. Yeah, it's not fun. No. I don't enjoy it. I think gay men enjoy sucking dick more than women do. Um, I, don't, no. I, don't, I don't believe you. The only argument is that the only enjoyment you get from it is like arousing your partner. Mm. Yeah. But it's not like yeah. fun. It's it not hurt. like, like no. you know what's fun is watching Gossip Girl, not no, sucking dick. No, it's the dick. same yeah. principle. Dude, you, you nailed it. It's the same exact principle behind eating pussy as well. Yeah, which I also think is not fun. No, I think it's <laughs> Have awesome. Have you eaten pussy I before? No. Uh, but like, I, I love eating pussy. Really? Yes. That would be like, would you rather be like playing a game on your phone? I love eating no, ass. No, I love, wait, what? You guys have such a weird relationship with sex. <laughs> I mean, ass. you're at least horny. I'm horny I'm not all horny. The time. I don't know what happened. I used well, to be. If there was a pussy around here, mate, well, never mind. Oh, no. Mouth. That's yeah, not what I meant. Stop. Sorry. Being the only female on this podcast. I'm so sorry. That was so it's problematic. We have to <laughs> probably. Is international I'm gay. Month. I didn't mean that. Oh. I don't like pussy. It is International Women's Month. I have a few more days. You do. And then it's my month in a few months. Yeah. Hassan when never is gets it, a When month. is it my month? You know what I mean? Straight white guy month? Like, Straight hot everything. It's bullshit. Month. Okay. Quite frankly, I think it's it's time. It's time that white men get their Your own month, month. I believe it was September. It's one day. It's not yeah. 11. It's one day. Yeah. It's one day. No, absolutely. Um, okay. So let's let's uh, dial it back for a second. So okay. Austin. Yep. I text him. I say, Austin, you can come early if you want. I know you flew in just, you know, just for the pod. He does. He loves the pod. I love yeah. the podcast. I've been flying in. This is my fourth weekend He's in a row. He's dedicated. Yeah. You are here more than Will officially. Yep, that's true. <laughs> I'm, is... I'm, I'm, I, I, yep, yeah. And Will so, is telling me I need to live here, but I'm here more. How? How does that fucking work out? Will, yeah, you well, listening, you Will. Know, uh, when there's a will, there's a way. So <laughs> I told you you can come. You that can come good. early yep. if you want. Yep. And you were unresponsive to that Party. until you found out what partying. I was, uh, yeah. I was, I was at you the gay bars. You were unresponsive to that because you were at the gay bars. I was, yeah. Like a harlot. I was at the gay bars. Being a <laughs> messy bitch. They know me there now. Yeah. The we'll we'll <laughs> get to that problem. in a second. <laughs> Until you found out I'm looking at men's dicks. Then you rush over. I did. I, 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 I literally, I literally. You're like, tap? Yeah, no, I literally was, I was talking to a group of people and I was like, I got to go. And they're like, Wait. like, he got the bat signal. It's yeah, like, I got to go. I called an Uber black because... And I don't normally buy those because, but it was urgent. Yeah, where was Dobby Day? He wasn't with me today. Oh my god, wasn't with me today. A shame, but no. wasn't available. So I, I, um, I had to call an Uber Black. But anyway, I rushed over here and just a. F- he he didn't just rush over. He said, "Pause the video." Yeah. He made me. I got like thirty thousand people so watching. You are so extra. I have thirty thousand people watching. And this motherfucker in my Discord is going, tell Hassan to pause the video. And did you get the message? I did. And I was like, fuck that. That's so insane. You didn't pause it? No, I, well, Kinda. I can't you stop myself. I have a video. problem. Yeah. I, I, I pause too much yeah, regardless. Yeah, yeah. So he actually yeah. did make it. Yeah, I did make it for, like, he started the video and. You shouldn't have said pause. You should have said, like, bring up something. Well, controversial. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just distract him. Yeah, from, yeah. I mean, he, yeah. But he ended up getting to. He, I ended up being able to participate in the video, but I've known about this video for a long time because Tanner Reed, uh, who's a, a porn star friend of mine, uh, a gay porn star friend of mine, was <laughs> any other adjectives <laughs> specific. <laughs> Um, a was, Hasanabi gay. Boy. Yeah. Okay, and he's okay. been telling me that this video is going to come out and that I need to, Hassan needs to react to it. Yeah. 
And so I know about this and he's like, I was like, I have to tell him to react to this video. And then you were reacting to it. Of course I was reacting to it. I was it's, like, it's shit. A, it's a Jubilee video about dick sizes. That's like amazing. In, insanely in video. my... So it's a great video. It's a great video. We learned a lot about dick sizes. Yeah. Wait, what was it? Was it just like get in the order of who... Yeah. Yep. Oh, one girth of those. Like and, guys, yeah. guys think oh, about like who... girth. Yeah, guys think about like who... That's it. Girth is a problem. Interesting. Yeah. But also too skinny is a problem. Girls in the chat were Ooh. saying Are you that a size queen? girth is more important than length. I've never heard that in my life. I've never heard any female friend of mine ever say that. I think like, well, obviously we're not talking like length as in, you know, you got like a fucking tuna can penis where your girth is like yeah. insane and then you got nothing. Yeah. But like, like you probably wouldn't want like a, like a pencil dick. You know what I mean? Like no, a long, pencil dicks are a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Little like a, noodles like a are a problem. Like a spaghetti noodle, you know? Yeah. It's like, no dick shaming for the record. Uh -huh. This is just a preference. Everyone's great. Austin was dick shaming. I, I, oh. I, I, I let my natural instincts get the better of me. And I made some, I had some very toxic reactions. To he did. Penises. He was dick shaming a bunch. But then Hassan went on to like body the, like after that, like he went to read on some no, pretty, off like some comments about how I don't know what you're talking he was about. like working at the little dick hospital. Like he was <laughs> no. too worse than me. Oh my god! But no, me. no, I was just reading. Okay, if you ever met, a, this, but this is one thing that I here's did what say. I was doing. I was reading comments in the chat and disapproving of it. I was like, no, while laughing this hysterically. Bad now. Comment. I will say this. I I made this comment, but I need to be validated by a female because I made it on behalf of the female community. Okay. Right. I said. That the size of your penis will most likely, rarely be the reason why you, that will not be the reason why you're not able to get with somebody. Oh, yeah. No, I agree wholeheartedly. Like, as long yeah. as you have riz, it doesn't matter what size your penis is. Long term, potentially, but like that night, everyone will give it a whirl. Okay. Oh, so you, you actually think that it could become problematic over time? Potentially. Really? Maybe. Could it, like, it could put a strain on the relationship. weird dicks in your lifetime? I saw a micropenis once. Uh, me too. At a Denny's. Me too. Oh, that's right. Wait, at a Denny's? Did you, did Not you, at a Denny's. Did you I've seen us? a bunch of micropenises, actually, which is weird to say. Why? Uh, one, it was, uh, one time it was a homeless dude uh, who was trying to play basketball with us. And we were <laughs> playing basketball with him, but like he had like poop on his pants. Oh, no. And oh, on the no. outside, on the outside oh, on, no. of his pants. And I mean, we play, we ball up with the like, homeless dudes all the yeah, time. That's it's whatever. Fine. It's not a big deal. But like he had poop on his pants. So yeah. we were like, hey man, you know, you got like, you got dookie stains on your pants. Yeah. Like, that's what one of the, one of the dudes said. And he was like, oh no, 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 don't worry. It's on the outside. And, and we were and, like, you know, the people there were like, okay, well, you know, that's kind of a problem for us. Yeah. You know what I mean, like you want to. You, you want us to like figure it out, like get you yeah, some other can clothes go buy you or some whatever. Pants, yeah. And he was like, no, no, it's fine. And he got like really angry. Oh no. And he was like, no, no, no. We're going to play with like dookie on my pants, on the outside of my pants. That's cool. And then, and then he tried to like throw hands with one of the dudes there. And he basically just like, instead of doing that, he just took his pants down. Oh no. And just put him on the ground. He's like, are you happy now? Is, you want to play sick. with me like this? That's very cool. And oh he had God. a micro penis. He won that argument, though. Jesus. Well, he, we stopped playing basketball after <laughs> that. That's uh, a win. Like, when you're at a public park and a yeah. dude just drops trow and shows you his micro penis. Well, I guess the what way. What a I'm, fucking story. Yeah. Yeah. What I guess, like, even if you had a fat one, I still wouldn't want to play at that point. Yeah, I know. It was, like, really impressive. You're like, yes. <laughs> yeah, good job, Let's man. But, like, wow. also, I'm. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep playing now, actually. <laughs> um,. That was one. And then the other time was when I was on Jeff's Barbershop. What's that? Jeff's Barbershop. Like Jeff Woodex. The podcast, isn't it? The podcast? Yeah. Wait, this is recently. Yeah. His, his second in command. Like, he has, like, a like an Andy Dick or Andy Griffin or whatever. Like, you know uh -huh. how those late yeah, night shows always have, like, a second guy? guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he is a micro penis, and he just flashed me. What is, is a that? It seems like people with micro penises, that's, like, their bit. Because, like, when I was in Denny's, I've told you this story before. I was in Denny's and like... I remember the story, yeah. Yeah, we were talking about micropenises. Yeah. This guy's like, want to see my micropenis? We're like, yeah. And then we go to the bathroom and he puts a little blue coffee creamer. He like takes it, sips it, turns around. And we're like, what's he doing? He drops his pants and he turns back around and it was just like on his penis. It was sick. Wait, did, he balanced it? 
It was, I don't know, it was just on there. So how do, like, how big do micro penises get? It wasn't like straight, get? it was just on there. Like, do they go from here to here? Like, is it? I think anything under, like, probably like an inch and a half is considered a micro penis. Uh. Maybe. I would assume. Oh, yeah. that, look, I'm going be honest. Because an inch is like that. That wouldn't be fun. But no. honestly, most of the time, like toys and stuff are better than penises. That's a that's a hard pill to swallow for a lot of guys. All of you are replaceable by a vibrating dildo. I know oh, this. Like every guy. Yes. I know what this. What about like muscles? And I, don't, I don't give a <laughs> shit. Like I, I incorporate... Uh, it, you know, it's it, those are weapons in my arm. Yeah, they should be. That's what you should. That's what yeah. they should do. But a lot of a lot of men like get like intimidated by the toys, and it's like, no, no, this should be your. This is the shield you are taking into battle. Like, but, yeah, but with men, it's or, helpful. With women, the sex experience is a lot more intense. Like, what I understand, men. The woman, the yeah, primary. Yeah, please tell me. No, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> You are literally like the least uh, experienced with women. No, look, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, look, <laughs> yeah, very clearly. This entire but no, room. there's more of a question. Isn't uh -huh. isn't your guys' experience just like a lot more intense? Like we can't achieve the level of intensity that you guys can. Oh yeah, they like the 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 brain releases more. The meme slash study on it is that like what women experience orgasm like seven times more yeah. powerfully than yeah. really yep yeah yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. but then again a lot of like medicine in this field Doesn't is like often, though. pretty fucking yeah. outdated <laughs> that's and the problem that is true yeah well which is why i was saying earlier that like it's harder to make a it's it's harder to make a woman come and i think it's harder to eat pussy than it is to suck dick I, yeah i think it's harder to eat pussy than it is to suck dick i think I agree with you on that. It's over. It's a wrap. Well, and plus you have practice. Like, so I remember when I first <laughs> sucked dick. I hope no one in my family ever watches this show. Um, <laughs> this is the third episode in a row we've talked I about I know. Dicks. We've got to really rain we got to diverse, uh, diversify but, our... But like my friend that was giving me advice, she was like, just imagine it's the best popsicle of your life. And you're like, okay. She's like, sounds and everything. And you're like, oh, okay. Sounds are huge. Right? And so it's like, once you learn that, it's like, doo -doo -doo, compared to a vagina, it's like, that. imagine you're uh, licking peanut butter you off could, a you could multi layered onion say that, side of a like, building. Like, well, honestly, <laughs> you know, like, I, I think, I think uh, here's, some, here's some handy dick sucking tips for all you ladies and boys out there. Okay. Let me just tell you, tell it to you straight. Okay. Hands are very important. And a lot of times, I think uh, people forget that, uh, you know, big time they hands are forget. out there. A hand job is a very fundamentally important part of a, of a sweet blow job. Okay. Very important. You should take notes because you are probably bad at sucking dick. I am. I, in fact, I'm, 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 I'm aware of that. I, I don't think I'm bad at it. I just think I'm very mid. People who say they wow. don't enjoy giving head universal concept here. In my experience. Oh my gosh. In I my don't agree with this. People who say they don't enjoy giving head are very good at it. That's most Wait, women are though. very good at it. I thought you were going to say they're, they're not. not very, they're good not very good at it. They're okay. not very good at it. Okay. What are you, what are you, because. why are you, are you on Google your phone? Are you going to call Ludwig? She's, yeah. Oh, perfect. that's insane. That's awesome. I'm like just this. ask. Hey, What's up? I'm on the podcast. Um, Hey Ludwig. <laughs> Don't don't talk to him. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, question for you: Would you between one and ten, and be totally honest here, how good am I at giving head? I'd be like a ten, man. Oh my god! You ask your okay. That's... Who else do you want me to call? My dad? No. I listen. Listen. Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> but like, why would he know? I wouldn't know. That's the joke. But <laughs> okay. he's okay. Yeah, but but Lud knows what's good for him. Why would he give anything? Because I told him to be honest. I don't oh, care. Okay. Oh Lud, my god! I'm gonna Lud, go. be okay. honest. If I'm being honest, it's a ten. I mean, I, I, if you want me to say a lower number so it sounds more realistic, I can do that for you. But no, yeah, no, let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> I, mean, I can give you like like a, does a nine help you make it more believable? Like I can do that for. I you. I mean, we could if you get a couple d numbers lower, we could get a good clickbaity title. <laughs> 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 hit me with yeah. a five, I suppose. Yeah, hit him with the five. No, like... no, no, no. You, look, you've talked about how you had to literally train yourself to not have a gag reflex. So, yeah. like, you have that going for you. My speculation was, and you can... Well, I don't know why I would ever ask Ludwig what his opinion is on receiving blowjobs. He's had, like, three in his <laughs> entire lifetime. So, he's the worst person that has this. It's true. The context for this, Lud, is that I said people that don't... People that say they don't like 
to give head are not very good at it. Would you say you're good at eating pussy? Uh, no. Oh, you're what? cutting out. Convenient. I, I think so. Cutie, rate Ludwig on a scale of 1 to 10. How this good is he? This has nothing to do with anything. Okay, go ahead. Oh, okay. Come on, cutie. We're, we're scale 1 to 10. This is my whole... No, this is my whole <laughs> argument. I don't... Oh, no. I can scale oh, him a Lud, 10. Oh, I'm so sure, sorry. a 10. The a thing th is... Oh. No, I'm saying... Oh, my God. Stop. That's not it. I don't enjoy receiving it, so it's not, it's, it's not fair to rate him because I don't enjoy it. Oh, that. okay. That's yeah. All right, Ludwig. Let me ask you this. How good do you enjoy sucking dick? <laughs> what? What? Okay. Let's stop beating around the bush. I can learn to do a blowjob as good as Cutie and then suck your dick and then you can rate it more accurately. I would, I think that's a great idea and we'll oh, figure sorry. that out. We'll, uh, we'll, sorry, Austin. I was talking to Hassan there. Oh. <laughs> you know, I don't, <laughs> the, the problem is, is he's not really a good, like, uh, test subject. Cause yes, he, I, I'm the best test no, subject. No, he wouldn't enjoy that. I have literally gotten infinitely more blowjobs than you. Ludwig, eye contact is incredibly important <laughs> with a blowjob, and he will not accept that. I First of all, there you go. You're a bad blowjob recipient. Oh, God. Well, no, I looked all them right. right in the eyes. Thank <laughs> you. You were bad you, at receiving Thank head. Thank you, Ludwig. Wait, what do you mean? Tell me why I'm bad at receiving Okay, head. first of all, we just found out that you're bad at giving head. No, I'm because not bad at it. Okay. I just am okay at it. It's we, okay. We need to like... I'm like a 7 out of 10. We're, we need to like test this on a fucking cucumber or something. Oh, God. Do you have one? No. <laughs> you got so excited. Uh, oh, I'd hate that. Do you have one? Do you have one? <laughs> okay. No, just, okay. My whole argument is I don't like... I don't dislike giving head. I don't... I just don't... I'm, I'm not going to be like, oh, I love giving head. Yeah. And any... I do. I, I love giving head. And I think... Right. And in my experience, girls that... I have been with, uh -huh. which is a relatively diverse group uh, over a Hundreds. long. He's bragging over a long <laughs> timeline. No, I'm just saying, like uh -huh. I. I have like a obviously like a sampling. He has bias. a lot of more sex than all of no, you. No, I'm saying I have a sampling <laughs> bias, but like uh -huh. you know, it's like enough, uh, albeit anecdotal, but still like enough data to to make up my mind on this Several thing. Seven hundred. All I'm no, all I'm saying is <laughs> let's not talk about that. All right. All I'm saying you is that in my experience. Girls that say they love giving head are actually, uh, they enjoy it. That, like uh -huh. they enjoy giving head are actually uh, often better at it. It's like it's like you do something that that's you fair. enjoy. I mean, and, and then it's you fair are, that you're better at it. I yeah. think I'm, there's something called the cool girl monologue. Have you ever heard of that? No, give it to me. <laughs> oh, the cool girl. Let me find it. I have to, I have to read it to you. That's how it is. Oh, wow. You guys stall. What is it about? This. It's the idea where, like, no, let me just find it. Let me just find it. I mean, look, I, I think that it goes with anything in life. The you more you said enjoy you something, don't enjoy sucking dick. I don't enjoy it. No, it hurts. It's what? like it hurts. It's just like uh, you, oh, like your jaw. It just like doesn't feel having your fucking throat clogged with a cock isn't exactly a play. Think about that. This is the one aspect that I can't speak on. I've I've only been a recipient of blowjob. Like I don't think it's enjoyable to like have your airway obstructed by an object. Like you know what I mean? I can understand. Like think that. it's not na natural. You breathe through your nose. I I, I ha I'm a hypochondriac. I can't breathe. That's the problem. I can't breathe. I need to come up. Sit, especially with eating ass, I gotta come up for air. What? I gotta come up. I've for actually air. had a really hard time with allergies recently. I can't kiss because I like I'm like. I can't. I keep having to go up for air. Really, kissing is yeah, so important. I can't to me. breathe. Kissing is so yeah. The important. number one, nose. the number one, no kisser is is not here with us right now. That so, will. That's oh, Will. Will, he hates will kiss. doesn't kiss. Will at hates all. kissing. Even though, except unless it's for me, he loves kissing me. Yeah. But he hates kissing. I made out with him at the Abbey. See, he's a he likes Crazy. kissing dudes. I made out with him, and then I made out with Caroline immediately after. Oh, you kissed him too, Mark. March kissed him as. What the fuck? If Wait, Will was right happening? here, if Will was right here, I know Will would say. <laughs> <laughs> How is this? I didn't even touch it. Physically okay? possible didn't that even every touch it. microphone uh. you stand in front of happens to break. I swear to God, nothing that I did should have broken that. March, back me up here. That is a flaw. No, don't back him no up. You're, because up. there's no visual evidence. You're, you're bugging the desk with some sort of there is visual homophobic evidence of related <laughs> microphone stand. Every time you come and you sit, 
You did it to the microphone. You're trying to break my nose is what you're trying to do. Oh, my God. You know that'll impact my ability to have sex with other gay men with a broken nose. Wait, so what? You're, you're trying to take me out. At least now you'll have an excuse not to suck cock. You'll be like, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, my sorry. nose is broken. Can't suck your dick. My nose. I no, can't breathe. I will always suck dick. Always. I think it's a good first impression. Where were we? We were. Ta- I was talking I, about... A cool girl monologue. Okay. okay. I was about to say something, but I forgot. We're going to break okay. this down. Okay. It's from Gone Girl. Okay. Men always say that that as a defining compliment, don't they? She's a cool girl. Being the cool girl means I am hot, brilliant, funny woman who adores football, poker, dirty jokes, and burping, who plays video game, drinks cheap de- beer, loves threesomes and anal sex, mm. and jams hot dogs and hamburgers into her mouth, and she's hosting the world's biggest culinary gangbang while somehow maintaining a size two because she's a cool girl and above all hot. Hot and understanding. Cool, cool girls never get angry. They only smile. Uh, loving manner and let their men do whatever they want. Go ahead. Shit on me. I don't mind. I'm the cool girl. Men actually think this girls exist. Maybe because they're fooled by so many women, women who pretend to be the cool girl. For a long time, cool girls offended me. I used to see men, friends, coworkers, strangers giddy over these pretend women. I I, like, the irony here is that like it's still internalized misogyny to just shit on the women for I know. men's insane expectations of women, which by the way, I don't agree with like any of this, of this stuff. You aren't but. dating a woman. You're dating a woman who has watched too many movies written by socially awkward men who'd like to believe that this is the, this kind of woman exists and might kiss them. They're not even pretending to be women. They want to be, they're pretending to be the woman a man wants them to be. Yeah. Um, Exactly. So that's the whole point is it's like, and well, don't, I don't get know me started they, on like pick me girls and people that hate pick me girls, because if you hate pick me girls, then you're being a pick me girl too. And it's just like, why are we calling each other names? Regardless though, all of this to talk about the fact that watch the crumbs. sometimes, sometimes women will just say things because that's what we've been told we need to say. I guarantee if you date a woman for three years, four years, she no longer loves blowjobs. And that's what all of this was but about. I, I have though. <laughs> have you been in what? Long, have you been in long term relationships in in the past? And they you, still love it. They never they yeah. never break that crack. Yeah, 100%. that's amazing. You enjoy. Yes, and I I'm speaking from whenever I like to talk about a subject, I always try to think about it from my own perspective. Uh-huh. Like, what would I do in a similar situation? Do I have a similar experience? It's a a pretty good way, pretty neat trick to develop empathy for others, actually. Um, and the thing I think about is like, I, I enjoy eating a pussy and I think that, um, <laughs> did you just fart? <laughs> no, my, that was my stomach. I thought so too. That was crazy. <laughs> no, it was my stomach. I think it might have been a fart. No, I did not fart. I cannot believe you just did Marsh, that. Marsh. It, 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 <laughs> so funny. He's just <laughs> nodding his head <laughs> Marsh, I did not fart. <laughs> But it did sound very close to a I love fart. that Austin needs, like, uh, extra people I always know. to, like, no. to throw <laughs> to, to be like, please yes. defend me. You know when your stomach produces a very <laughs> similar sound to a fart? That's never happened to me. I would never fart on camera. <laughs> My cheeks would be clenched so hard. Except for, except for just now. I did not fart on camera. <laughs> okay. Did that the was... audio pick that up? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh no! Do it again. Do the noise again. I can't do it. Oh, it was. No. It was from my intestines. Okay. Yeah. It was air coming out. So it was internal. Oh part. my intestines. Oh, it, was, yeah. it was air coming from your intestines. Look, out of your I need, I need to be clear. That was not coming. I I have it, I have a perfect um. feeling on my asshole. Okay. I've never. It's never been used. Never been used uh, anything. It's been a one way street. Never had anything <laughs> except have booty boot camp. To do with farting. Well, I've got a lot of control, is what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And what I can uh. say is it didn't come out of my butt. That was a, I swear to God, I would bet you a million dollars it didn't come out of my butt. Dude, there's no, <laughs> okay. Well. I'm willing to bet a million dollars right on the table. Come on, pussy. A million bucks. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> socialist. Okay, well, it smells like you farted. <laughs> no, it does Uh-oh. not. Yeah, how about that? That is not yeah, true. Exactly. You are lying. Give me Tom a million dollars. I can't smell, but he's closer. So uh, I bullshit. believe him. Shit, March, can you smell it? <laughs> it smells like you farted. That is not the That's case. That's so fucked You're up. Sm- I can't even do that. I'm no, sorry. No, I, it's not true. No, I'm fucking with him. Yeah, it's he did not, not fart. It's such a. It's such it's a. a it would ruin my career. Do my career. No, it would be over. Austin farted. Are you kidding me? Be the front page. Don't worry, you have another front, Twitter. Front page <laughs> of what? I, I hope. Know. I hope someone takes that anyway. That clip of just Austin. 
Austin agrees and farts, and that's oh, the clip God, name, no, and they put it on Jesus LSF. <laughs> and oh, that's the context. God. It's going to be everywhere. It's going to be viral. That's the thing that Anti Piker is going to tweet about. Oh, Austin Jesus. farts. God. Except for he's going to like amplify he's the fart. He's going to amplify it. Like make zoom it in on your face, slowly nodding. <laughs> It's well. <sighs> where were we? Actually, I have a bone to pick with Anti Piker. Okay, Anti Piker was the first one to tweet out Ludwig's balls. Oh, that's right, and that's why Ludwig yeah, blocked. Fucking him. idiot! Wait, was it Anti Piker that tweeted his balls, or was it uh, Hassan Piker's cum rag? It was Anti Piker. <laughs> that's a very real gay account. Because sometimes I keep, like Wait, name Hassan search. Hassan Piker's cum rag is a real gay. Account? I I name <laughs> search sometimes, and like literally, it'll just be like sometimes when I name search Hassan Piker on Twitter, like that's you what should comes not be up. doing that for your mental health. I like to know what's going that's on. So bad. I like to know what my enemies are saying. You you check your so indirects. So bad. So bad. Well, for only you. only when like. Not always. Only on unique moments. That is 2023's version of self-harm. You are yeah. cutting yourself live. I mean, it's fine. I, I deal with it fine. But but yeah, he he comes up. And it's like literally, it's not even me anymore. It's just like he posts like shirtless photos of it's other Austin. men. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, he just like he all bunch of other men. Oh, like, a like whole bunch wait, of it's, just, like, it's like a porn account. Yeah. That's cool. And uh, I think like he started off just posting about me, but then like I got fat. So he stopped posting about me. Sad. When did you get fat? You didn't get fat. I'm I got sorry. like a little chunky. I was just going to say, well, you, look, you look thin today. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. For saying that. You definitely You're look thinner than last week. Bitch. I don't what? know why he's like that. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's because I shaved my mustache and beard. That's yeah. what oh. No, I, I, I'm just kidding. You look, you look, you look but, the same as last week. But uh, thank you. Um, no, I, I, have lost, Good I, have lost a, I have lost a decent amount of weight and also uh, am continuing to. But that's besides the point. I forgot. Oh, Hassan Piker's comrade posted it. Ludwig said it was anti-Piker. Could have been anti And he's well, mad. I'm pretty sure it was anti-Piker because Ludwig had anti-Piker blocked and that was a saga. How did you hear about that? Because I follow anti-Piker. And they tweeted about it? Yeah, they did. And well, they uh, and anti-Piker, now Ludwig has unblocked anti-Piker. Oh, peace. The world is healing. Yes. So what is the Ludwig balls thing? He went on huh? a podcast. Actually, Oh, I, I know. They forgot to edit it out. Yeah. I asked him I feel this. bad because I, I victim blamed Ludwig a little bit. Oh, did you? I did. We got in a fight and he was like, I am the victim here. And I was like, oh, you, why'd you show your balls on a podcast I was filming? And he was like, they said they would edit it out. And then I was like, yeah, but you were stupid to begin with. And then he was like, you're victim blaming. And then I was like, I am. I had to realize that. So wow. I was wrong in that situation. That's gross. I the know. The fact that you like, you know, ate that. But I usually prefer fire. blaming victims. So. <laughs> yeah, fair. So it was it's a hard day for me. Convenient. Unless it's a white man, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. There you go. No, that's a joke for the record. Um, I, should, yeah. I should point that out. Some people don't know. I, I'm sarcastic. You're, I don't know if you know this, but you're, I'm silly. you're a woman on the internet and you just said something sarcastic. So I'm also not wearing you. makeup or a cute shirt, so I have no redeeming qualities today and yeah. they will tear me apart for that. look fabulous. I don't. I look like some of the aunt that like shows up at the family reunions and you're like, oh God, she's here again. Oh, I, when you said aunt, I literally thought like about the bug. Like aunt. a bug. Yeah, oh, I I'm like, so I look like I a was like, who the No, you don't. Showing up to your aunt. picnic. No. <laughs> I think day. you look wonderful. You guys are nice. But I think you look beautiful. Uh, what were we talking about before we got don't. derailed <laughs> okay. eleven times? I think um, you're, before oh, I farted, I have food is that coloring allegedly? under my nails? Do you see what? that? Ew. I, I do see that. I did not fart for the record. I want to make that very <laughs> yeah, clear. Yeah, before Austin farted, like what were we head. talking about? I don't know. Dick sucking and freaking. Oh yeah. Well, to wrap that point up, all I wanted to say uh -huh. was, uh, no, this isn't like a cool girl thing at all. I, I think about it from the same perspective as like eating pussy. Uh, I've been in committed long-term relationships <laughs> and I still enjoyed eating pussy you know what? in them. Then you're just a, you're just one of the good ones. No, I don't. I'm not one of the good I, ones. It's not even about the act itself. I think it's about like pleasuring your partner. I enjoy pleasuring my partner. You're a liar. I, you are not, not a service true. top. We literally established that. I would, if you wanted me to suck, if we were partners, which we're not. Really. <laughs> and you said, You're I not want a blowjob. No, and it's mutual, buddy. Okay. <laughs> um, I would totally like, I, let's, we'll use another one. Let's say March and I are dating and he wanted me to suck his cock. I would do it. This is an HR issue. It's like, first of all, he knew what he was doing. Doing it, to. doing it, <clears throat> doing it for, you know, as like a, oh, here we go again. Got to suck a cock. That, that's not the way I would approach it. I'd be like, yeah. Oh, like the Packers one. I get like, no Packers. What are you? The Vikings, oh, Vikings, Vikings. 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 
Yeah, I, I'm so, so excited. When I said bad, in fact, I don't only like I go I go for if I'm if I were to meet somebody hypothetically, I would go for it immediately. Like not immediately. <laughs> <I wouldn't>, what? <laughs> like through the process of the hookup, that I would go for it. I wouldn't let You'd them be the ask initiator for it. of the dick sucking. Yeah, for sure. You're going for Yeah, I actually I I usually would too. I think I think maybe I do like sucking dick. I don't know. I don't know what I fucking like anymore. Yeah. You've said like you've trained your throat. So you are the throat goat. I Undisputed used, champion. Yeah. I just the <laughs> So my biggest like problem with like sucking dick is guys you've got to shave you just have to oh yeah straight you men, just have to straight men i think that's the, the only thing that just like there's no i'm no longer at all interested when i'm i have to pick pubes out of my teeth i just am not i just like I, straight I, men are I, so I keep bad that shit maintained straight so that's men, my biggest advice to anyone out there who wants their dick sucked more straight men are so bad with um like their Manscaping. Manscaping. It's awful. Yeah. Like, it shouldn't be that way. How many straight way. dicks have you sucked? No, but I just know. Wait, how do you know? Because I have girlfriends like Cutie. Oh, tell true. Me these true. Yeah. That makes sense. It make, it, it, and, like, I know, I, I have, like, all straight guy friends, and they haven't shown me their dicks or anything, but they're just gross. Three in one fucking body shampoo. I will say, Ludwig is good at that. He always has, he has nice conditioner. Yeah, no, no. Nice Ludwig's thing. great. I, I, I always have to clarify because it's, like, super annoying. Uh, that was my fault. It's super annoying, like having like talking about sex life and stuff like that when everyone knows who you're dating. Because then it's like people always come up with assumptions, and there will be people in like the comments that are like, "Well, Ludwig well, we needs to do this." You know? Well, we did call Ludwig. <laughs> I know, I know, but the, I know. Wait, no, but he did give you a ten out of ten. He did. For the record, Ludwig is very well maintained. Set the record straight. What? Why are you talking like you've seen his dick and? Oh, you have seen his oh, balls. Oh, we saw his balls. We did see his balls. balls. Anyway, his balls look great. On. Yeah. What? No one was supposed to see it. That was so weird. It was the weirdest week because all of a sudden I have, there's all these people Ludwig's like joining Valorant lobbies with. They're like, what? I saw your balls. And I was like, what the hell? Like everyone saw his balls. It's yeah. Just, it's weird. When this thing happened, I was like so confused by it. To be fair <laughs> though, balls are like not very No, sexual. no, no. I agree. No. Like it's very different if you see the dick instead of the balls. Like- the dick is a is a, it's like the the difference between your fucking whole titty versus your nipple. Yeah, you like a zoom I mean? in on the nipple. Yeah. yeah, for women because we're sexist. Your nipple this in your picture podcast. you posted on um that was crazy. Why? It was so much nipple. Yeah, I yeah. thought I thought it was photoshopped. No, you the look. Can we pull you, it up real quick? He did an angle. It, where it, looked, it looked like, like you had a breast. Oh, that's because of I realized later that uh, I think that's because of the the. Uh, car I was in, or my car. I, I thought, yeah, sorry, I like thought. I, no, it's my, yeah, it's on my alt. It, it was. It was a nipple jump scare. I was baking, and then my chat was like, like check had, out Hassan's it, it pose. Like I had like a fat titty. <laughs> yeah. Because, no, it's the it's shadow. It's the sun, it's the shadow. It's but it the oh my God, yeah, the perfect shadow right there. Yeah. That's drag queen contouring. Look at yeah. that. That is finest. It, it, it's just like, well, uh oh. We'll go you got it in studio mode and then change the, yeah, and it's small. You got to unlock it. I don't know why that happened. Oh, you probably put it wrong in the wrong order. Okay, boom. So his booby, yeah, it looked uh -huh. it looked like it's inflated, but I see the. Sh That's so I funny. That is insane, That's brother. Crazy. It's right here. Happens. I don't know how anything. Nobody happens. else is touches. It back in? Are you sure it's not static anymore? Okay. Literally, um, no one else touches their mic. I know. I, I like to touch things. You need a fidget spinner. So anyway, back to your boobs, Hassan. Yeah. That's a funny it, angle. It's just like I always take Okay, can I it's ask you something? Angle, can though. I ask you something? What's up? What is your obsession with taking pictures of your nipple from this I angle? I think it's funny. You think it's think funny it's or you funny. think it's sexy? Yeah. No, I think he it's funny. He thinks it's funny, No, for I don't sure. think it's sexy. But nothing about this is sexy. If he thought it was sexy, he'd be like doing shit like you do. There are people thirsting over this though, cutie. Like on yeah, Twitter, like anti-pikers. There, there are great. people, he says. There, there are people like thirsting yeah, over not it. Him. Like, yeah, not him. I'm not his type. I'm not his type. Licking no. it? Li like, like the photo? Oh, the SpongeBob yeah, thing. Anti-piker is what anti -piker. he's talking about. They yeah. love your nipple. I, that, it, I don't post that because I think it's hot. Like, there are photos that I've posted where I'm like, I look hot in this. That's not one of those photos. That's more like, that's more of like a, like a progress pick kind of, but also like not sexy. You How know often I mean? do you work out? I work out 
I train with my trainers four times a week, and then mm-hmm. I play basketball pretty much every single day that I do not train. So I, and wow. sometimes I train and I play basketball. I train three times a week. I've lost zero pounds, and because it's so demoralizing. What do you do? Because you make fucking raspberry bars and shit. Yeah, only once a week. What do you do? <laughs> What do I do? I don't know what he tells me to do. I hate the gym. I hate working out. Well, that's um, the reason why you're not losing weight is not because you're not working out. The reason why you're not losing weight is because you're eating more than your body no. burns. I know. I need to start tracking my do calories. You do cardio? The issue is, is whenever I track my calories, I instantly fall back into eating disorder, and I just like we'll be like, oh, this is a game. How little can I eat today? Yeah, oh. but that's it's bad. It's so too. fucked up. I know. So then I end up only eating like 400 calories a day, and I'm like, yeah, oh. but then, then your metabolism. Not good. So I know. Maybe, maybe make it a game where you eat Hit just the number. at a deficit. I know. I gotta. But do you do cardio at all? No. That cardio would help every single day. Just do whatever you can do consistently, and it, it'll. I know. I shrimp. well, we, that's how I drop weight. I got a Soul Cycle, um, and then I got sick of all their music, and then I t- found out Taylor Swift has Peloton classes, so I need a freaking Peloton. Oh, perfect! I love Taylor Swift. So I need a Peloton. Are you just trying to get a concert ticket? Yeah. Everyone keeps being nice to me for this. Wait, are I, you getting a see, box? Me, I, I have should, a box. Wait, really? I should get a concert yeah. ticket because no, I'm not being nice. No, you're a waste to you. of space. Uh, no, cutie, yeah. I should how many, get a concert ticket see, because you can convert you me. I have two boxes. You can convert you have two me boxes? by yeah. taking me to the Taylor concert. I can't convert you. Yes, you Wait, can. You're cutie, a waste. Cutie, what? I huh. think I need to be there. Why? Name four or five of her songs. What she made me do. Okay. Not even a good one. Yeah, I hate that Not even song. a good one. Are, yeah. are you it's kidding me? Worse. Notice, notice Ooh, how I picked up on that. What you made me do? Hey. What you made me do? That's okay. not a good one. Stop singing it. Uh, it's like it's like trashy pop. Oh god. She was doing that because she was forced to. Look, basically. No, I mean it's still a really good story. Um, for the record, the Cinderella story. They're all great. Obviously, it's Taylor Swift. Cinderella. Well, story tell me the song. karma theory then, if you know so much about that. The karma theory. Yeah. Shit, I don't know. I have no idea. I know the gay one. I know she's the, oh, the gay the Carly Kloss. Yeah, gay. Yeah, her. yeah. I know that. Come on, that's a point. Okay, for me. so no, that's, I, I told you about it. I know that. I, I don't retain know the names information. Of all these, but like, uh-huh. the look what you made me do. Yeah, I counted that one. Okay, but then the he was what's good. I wear t- Nobody t- likes you when you're 22. No, that's not, Is that not the other nobody one? likes you when you're 23. Fuck. Okay. And that's some 41. But I thought. Okay. Blink 182. Blink Shit. 182. Okay, <laughs> too many the, numbers. The Cinderella story thing. That one. And you can't come. Why? <laughs> you need to. Well, fine, cutie. You're not going. If go- I can go, I, get to, I will tell. Hey, name five. You're I have John Mayer's to, phone number. You're not I will coming. text him. If, if you give me a ticket, I'll text him that he's a bad guy. Cutie, is there really that high of a demand for this these tickets? Yes! Yeah! Look, yes! She's thinking yes! about it. You're such a freak. Cutie, Why would I, I do will, that? I will, Why I would will, I do that? Who will, offered it? He's such a nice guy. He's not a nice guy. He's such are a nice guy. Are you paying? Or how much, I'll pay you for the tickets. Oh, how that's much, interesting. How much are the tickets? It's like... Per, per ticket. It'd be... Like 20 bucks? 2,500 per ticket. Per ticket? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, how many tickets? Dude, she's fucking it's crazy. 20 tickets for 50K. You are insane. But, I mean... Yeah, I don't, st- I don't need making, a new car. Are you making people pay Ludwig for pays yeah, for the house. Sucks. Buy okay. a new car. Uh, dude. What the fuck? Dude, Instead of buying... I'd rather yeah. go to Taylor Swift. I don't spend my money on anything. I just realized, yeah, you have a dog shit car, Uh and instead you're just spending it on Taylor Swift tickets. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's 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 all I care about. It's worthless unless you take me with you. All right, cutie. Oh, my. Cutie, I'll be honest with you. If you don't invite me to. It's so funny because I hate going to concerts, but it's. Yeah, you won't even like it. If you don't take me to Taylor Swift, I'm not inviting you to Elton John. I don't want to go to Elton John. Wow, what a threat. Elton what John a, has a banger song that I keep playing when I'm playing League of Legends. Do you know it? It's the hold me closer I think to, I'm gonna kill myself. Really? Elton <laughs> Just John? Just a bit of suicide. Yeah, it's my new favorite song. Wait, he sang that? Yeah, it's so good. Is it deep faked? No. Elton John talks about killing himself. Yeah, it's so funny. He's a really? gamer. Marsh, will you pull up the lyrics? I didn't no way. So funny. Yeah. I didn't Elton he John, like I'm going that. to kill myself. Elton John doesn't write his own songs. Well, he sang it. He doesn't write the lyrics, at least. Really? Wait, That's kind of sad. What year did this come out? 1972? I'm getting bored being part of mankind. <laughs> There's not a lot to do no more. This race is a waste of time. <laughs> He's, Good God. It's very upbeat, though. 1972. People, people rushing everywhere, swarming around like flies. Think I'll buy a 44. Give him a all surprise. Jesus. 
I think I gotta what kill myself. Fuck? What the fuck? This one. This is 1972. This is like at the beginning. This is like one of his first albums, if not his first album. And somehow this one just got swept under the rug and he became a superstar. Yeah. Okay, I just gotta say something here. I, like, it seems like Cutie knows more about Elton John than you. You should just give your Elton John tickets to True, Cutie. True, actually. Name five not. songs. You uh, can't name. Your, your song, Tiny Dancer, Benny and the Jets, Leave On, and... Um, the one we just said. And that one, yeah. <laughs> wow, no, you can't say that. I can't say that one? Yeah. Uh, you don't have a fifth song. Uh, 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 I'm taking away your game. No, 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 no. Right oh, Philadelphia Freedom. There you go. Okay. Um, it's hard for me to think of things. I, I get it. It's like hard for me to think. Like, if you said name five planes... I wouldn't be able to do that. No, you would. A330, E320, E319, <laughs> 737, 747A. Oh. Well, if there Suck was it. a plane concert, I would take you to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way. What? I've got something to talk about here. What? Very irritated. There was oh, an no. article in the Washington Post that called me out directly. What? It, Why? It said... I'm going to send you the link, Mark. That you're a problem? No. Let me show you. It called me out directly. And it just said nice things? No, it it's about gloat. planes. <laughs> uh-huh. It's about planes. I'm going to send it to you right now. Do you now. even like Boba? What? Do you like Boba? Depends on who's asking for what reason. You literally have a Boba sticker on the back of your phone. Oh, no. A, 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 a fan gave me this sticker, and I put it on, and I haven't taken it off. Do you know what's funny? What? Huh? I've thought about, like, you know when you're, like, looking for your phone and you see someone else's phone? Yeah. I've had this realization before. I was like, why the fuck? Whose I've phone never is seen this him, like, in my house? Let me get Boba real quick. And I was like, there's that. no way this is Austin's, right? Because there's fucking Boba on yeah, it. Yeah, it's mine. I have a Boba sticker on the back of it. Here, let's see if we can show it to the camera. This is, I got it from a fan at VidCon last year. They know who they are. And uh, whose Discord should I send it to? Um, Very strange that you have a Boba sticker. I I, I just, like, I yeah. haven't taken it off. I like Boba, but I don't like Boba yeah. like that. No. Okay. I have my dog on my phone. So, as you guys know, I have a fantasy. And it's not like a, it's like a hero fantasy. Oh, yeah. It's Check so, this out. It's such a problem. A Washington Post article. Oh, I thought this was, like, actually about you. No, go, scroll up. <laughs> Scroll up to oh the top. Oh, my God. We don't have to talk about this if you don't want to. Think but. You, no, it's fine. Think you no, can I land like a plane it. in an emergency. Plyde's explain why you can't. Because that's literally his yeah. dream. That's not my dream, per se. But it's it definitely something I am capable of doing. I, and I don't appreciate the fact that this article says that I couldn't do it when I know absolutely I can. Uh, the 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 doesn't No, it doesn't mention no, me. It doesn't mention the me. article goes on to explain several different things about... Uh, oh, it says in, in, in the article, it says 0% chance of someone pulling that off. And he calls, he says the clinical name for this type of baseless bravado is a Dunning-Kruger effect. What, what does that even what mean? What is that? That's, a, that's a, when you're a dumb person who greatly exaggerates uh, their own or greatly misunderstands their capabilities and thinks that they're much smarter than they actually are. Yes, but that is not... Yeah. But, but scroll down Everyone here. Everyone in Florida. Here, March. <laughs> scroll down here, and there's a, there's a part of the article that talks about... Here, scroll down. Keep going. Um, so, here, scroll down. Keep going. Scroll down. Oh, yeah. Here we go. For starters, the passenger must gain entry to the cockpit. Uh, well, for, well, forget that. Wait, you, what about that teenager? Wasn't there a teenager who did it recently? Um, I, I think they've all been like general aviation planes. Oh. Okay, this is such a dumb fucking uh, article because you 100% can land. Yeah, 100%. Plane. I know. Yeah, you've landed a plane. I know, I know I have. You've landed multiple but planes. But this pisses me off not because, like a real plane. because you know who the Austin, dummy is? This is not about you. This is literally You know who the like dummy is? Article. Is the person writing the article. Just because they don't know how to fucking fly a plane doesn't mean Austin, that Austin, this is for the general audience, not fucking freaks like you and Mohammed Atta who have spent <laughs> thousands of hours on Microsoft Flight Simulator. I just had to get that off my chest. Because it pissed me off. You, I felt you targeted. You shouldn't have taken that personally. Okay, I took yeah, it very you personally. You shouldn't have because you have literally landed a real commercial plane and simulator. And I can do it again. Which is, for the record, for those of you who don't know, we did this together. Yep. Um, I've landed a plane as well is what I'm saying. I helped him a lot. Yeah, I landed <laughs> it by myself. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the average citizen can do it. Yeah, so yeah. the article's wrong. Yeah, it's true. Actually, yeah. I did. I was talking to my friend about that and I referenced you. Yeah, so <laughs> I landed a plane by myself. Yep. 
all alone. Yep. No help from others. Not at all. Not not even a little bit. I'm just trying to convince him to do it again with me. So <laughs> make him anyway, feel good. But uh but yeah, the 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 simulator that we use is a one to one direct replica, direct carbon copy of like an actual plane flight. So much so that the FAA tracks it as their actual like real flight logged yep. hours. Yep. You can log and then wow. you, you go from flying that thing into flying with passengers. Speaking of which I need to get you in a cockpit of a plane, a ver- one, one of those yeah, simulators. Yeah, not a real one, a simulator. To, and I think it'll actually help you overcome your fear of flying. We'll see. Because let's say we were to travel somewhere, not that far, uh-huh. in the near future. Would you be uh-huh. down as a part of the podcast? No. To But like, let's say you Can had- Can I drive there? No. No. Let's say- No, you can't. Like, physically impossible. Yeah, you cannot. Let's say Are Austin is- Are we going to is, Japan? No. No. That's way too far. Okay. That's come on, come on. We like let's say it's like an eight hour flight. Ugh. First class. Yeah, business. I don't want to go. Cutie, we can do it, guys. I don't want to go. But like, but like, think about it. It's not with like, it's what? not with like uh, Ludwig. Yuck. It's with Austin, yep. who is also just as uh, big of a freak as you are, yep. and has been able to like slowly but surely overcome his fear of flying, and he could possibly help you. I'm scared. Cutie, you don't have to what? be scared. <laughs> Save Austin, we would go down together. Perfect. No. Look, it'd be over quickly. I'm just uh, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no, but like, but for real, would you would you be open to that? Like, no. maybe Austin could convince you. Austin. No, being he's tried there convincing with you? me. Cutie, have you guys flown together before? No, no. she won't. We could vlog it. No. That'd be such. The good thing content. is, th- yeah, it would be. I flew once content. with Hassan, and it stressed me out so much because he was like live. You were live, and you're like going to the airport now, and I was like, you're gonna get us killed. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was so pissed. It was in Austin. Yeah, I was so pissed. No, I I wasn't lying. I was like, get a different plane. I said, hey, guys, I got to end it. Like, I'm going to go to the airport later. And then you were like, well, they can track it. Yeah, there's like two flights. What are they going to do? Shoot it out of the sky with an RPG? Yeah. You and I both have. They hate you. The world hates you. You and I both have anxiety. What if I, I know people that work in the aviation industry in dispatch. What if I get a full like report on what's going on like what the we'll fly on the newest uh, of planes no because we'll get the a full flight report no they have been they're even better uh, what are you insane you know go my brother wrong. builds them right i yeah i if if if, if she doesn't marat, trust marat no if marat were to check my plane before i got on it i would trust it wait really yeah okay we i think we make probably it, make it happen <laughs> i don't know yeah. Yeah. Uh, if if but he, yeah, he, he, the problem is, is I know a lot of a lot of the issues that happen when planes have issues is because human error, being lazy and not checking all the things off. Most Judy, most you know mostly statistics. pilot error. Yeah, and they stress me out. In commercial air flight, <laughs> yeah. it's literally the safest thing on the planet. I know, like but it's you, really stressful. you have you have more likelihood of like dying going to the bathroom in this house than you do on a plane. Literally, not even joking. Yeah, no, <laughs> not, not, not like this house in particular. It's just in any yeah, house. Yeah. The, the, this this house happens to be unreasonably large, which yeah. is why you you could a, you no like slipping yeah. and falling <laughs> when you're like normally walking would be a higher likelihood to damage you than like dying in a. In Do you a, think you're more likely to die from impaling yourself with the new metal straws than airplanes? Yes. Really? Because that's like that was a big thing for a while. People kept tripping with their metal straws and. Rah. Yep, that's definitely more likely. Where do you get this, like hypochondriacfreaks.com? No, I don't, I, I don't. I don't I use have, them I have anymore. a lot of irrational fears like this. Yeah, too. that's why I don't use metal straws anymore. Yeah, like I definitely have like you know, my, my. I've got a fear of choking, bro. I don't understand yeah. how either of your brains operate. Like, how can you live like this? I don't live. I neither do I. That's so. I've weird. overcome because my driving fear of is like infinitely more dangerous but, than but, flying. But, in a but yeah. when but I, I can pull over and get out whenever I when want. When I flew in the simulator, this what? in the UK. Uh-huh. Recently, uh-huh. I actually wait. Are we trying to go to London? Is that where we want to go? Maybe. Perhaps. I knew it. Why did you say that? Because he loves London. I mean, I did. It wasn't my idea this time. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I'm not going. Can't confirm or deny it. Cutie, come on. Put me on an iPad. How about we? What if we sedate you? No. Like completely. <laughs> oh. Didn't you get? Did you get sedated last time? No, or I have Xanax. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. It doesn't do anything for me. Really? Yeah. You, you're fear over. Next time I'm gonna Xanax? try drinking. That's what Melena said to do. But I'm scared because it thins your blood and then you're more likely to like have a thin blood. Like what if I have a heart attack then because my blood's so thin. 
uh, that You're would be the what? opposite of what would happen with mm, a heart attack. What happens? What if I get a small cut while on the plane and I bleed out because my blood's so thin you from won't, drinking? You, you won't bleed out that that it, your blood isn't thin enough to bleed out. Boy, why would you think you have a heart attack? Thinning, you, you would take a blood thinner to avoid a heart attack. You know that whenever I go on planes, I bring bear because if you feel like you have a heart attack, you take a bear and it could save your life. Uh, is it aspirin? Is that yeah. What it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I know. That's, so I keep it in my purse it's just good. in case. It's good. Did you know that they have uh, defibrillators on there? Yeah, but what if no one uses it? Well, they will. What if you're having a heart attack on a plane? They're gonna uh, use no. The okay. I took my bear, so I'm fine. Here, the 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 general idea is we gotta get. So you, you think you're gonna have a heart attack, <laughs> and then the fucking people there are not gonna be like, let's help her out with a defibrillator. I'll be like, guys, I took my bear. Would you do it for a <laughs> Patreon goal? No. I have an unreasonable fear, just like you do, of the ocean. Okay, you want to go on a cruise? You want to fly to Florida and go I on a cruise? I don't want to go on a cruise because of a, a matter of principle. I think it's like a waste of time and boring and also horrible for the environment. They but are actually really bad for the I environment. But I will... Oh. <laughs> of course. I will uh, go in the ocean if you what do you mean? go on a plane. How far in the ocean? I don't fucking know. However far you want me to go. I just like... I'm I want you to take a boat to Japan while I fly to Japan. What? That makes Bear no trade. sense. I'm not afraid of being on a boat. I just mm. don't like God the deep. Damn it, just say you are. So. I no, I no, I'm not gonna lie to you. I have a, I will. I have uh what is called uh thassalophobia. What's that? It is the unrealistic, but I do think it's totally realistic to be afraid of the ocean. Fucking bullshit. There's a krakens. Um th thank you. Yeah. One of many other creepy creatures in the water. Look, my po oh my god, I know. I'm Megalodons also, are I think, crazy. I, I don't think being afraid of the wide open ocean is an irrational fear. No. Thank you. I think that's very normal. Like, I, think I, it's a very normal I, fear. I am afraid of like the sea critters down there. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's just like I can't see it. Yeah. I like yeah. being in the ocean to being in a jungle with a fucking plastic bag over my head because yeah. I yeah. can't breathe. I agree. And I can't see. And I don't like that. Yeah, I agree. Like, I'd you. rather, uh, I've said this before, I'd rather die in the Amazonian forest, right? Like, uh -huh. To a fucking leopard attack or whatever, uh -huh. than die in the ocean where like an octopus pulls me down into the deep, dark crevices of the underworld. Really? Because you drowned probably quicker. Like you drowned. Doesn't matter. I'd rather okay. be like, it's kind of like, no, I, it's kind of like your fear of the plane. You can't get out of the plane and yeah, like I don't like deal it. with the situation with your own two. Yeah. Compared to like, you could probably take a Jaguar. No, I can't, but it doesn't matter. That's besides the point. Oh, my point is control, <laughs> right? There's right. an element control of control thing. when yeah. you're driving, even though uh -huh. it's infinitely more dangerous to drive. Uh -huh. You don't have that element of control when you're on a plane. True. Right. So it's the same exact thing. I have an element of control when I'm on my feet in a rainforest rather than when I'm in the ocean. If I was There's flying no the plane, would you fear, would you trust me? Really? What? Why don't you just get your license? Well, it's it's it takes forever. To or get my license. uncle, my uncle flies for Delta, and I would love to the, fly wait, with him. There's, I would literally not fly. with I him. wonder if you why why I, what, what do you mean why? I would rather fucking fly with a FAA certified like he will get FAA certified. I'll use FAA five thousand uh, trips need, under his belt, ass motherfucker. You heard what like, Trump's saying? They're hiring shitty pilots these days. They need that's me. what you saw. Trump that and you were said like, that. I'm in. Why are you saying that to her? She's gonna be more. I'm scared. only flying oh, with my fuck. uncle. No, now. no, 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 no. Cutie, cutie, hold on. Wait, what airline? Cutie. Trump is lying. No, no, he's lying, number one. Number Trump two. Trump never lies. Cutie, number two, the planes that you would be flying overseas are the most tenured pilots. Did you know yes. one of my favorite things that someone said to me is they thought my humor was like April Ludgate, and that made me really happy. Who's that? Who's that? I hate you too. Wait, so this is much. like, you're supposed to teach us as a woman. We're a couple of straight She's from women. Parks and Rec. <laughs> oh, fucking. Uh, yeah. What's her face? Yeah. <laughs> me and my brother, me and my brother don't like her anymore. Why? Aubrey like, Plaza? Aubrey Plaza, because she was so devastating on White Lotus. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Yeah, no spoilerinos for <gasps> anybody, but like, but like the character's actions in White Lotus made both me and my brother Hate her? like not like her anymore. Yeah, that's what, that's like the problem with like Joffrey from uh, Game of Thrones. He like can't get another job because people just look at him and they're like, I fucking hate that guy. Yeah. Cutie. It's, it's a shitty thing to be typecast. Sorry to go back, but you're such a brilliant your actress. uncle is a pilot for Delta. Yeah, and you does he fly overseas? No, shit. Maybe I'll ask him. If, he is a Delta Omega Platinum. If he's guy. a Delta pilot that flies overseas, he guaranteed goes to London probably, and you could literally find his. Actually, plane I think others. he's probably flown to London. Yeah, 
why don't we just get you on, get you match you with his schedule and just get on his plane? Yeah, we could flying. probably do that. Ask your I uncle. haven't thought of that. That's, now. Is it, would you go then if your uncle was? Yeah, flying? if my uncle was flying, I go. I don't like that we're setting the most unrealistic boundaries for Cutie to fly. But that's but that's that's a pretty. Hey, good it's solution. my uncle though. Yeah, it's Wait, a pretty what, good what, is he Italian? Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey. we're Italian now. Hey, hey. I don't know if He's you can tell yeah. from my pale complexion yeah. that we're super Italian. Yeah. Um. Oh, by the way, it's so funny. I was at dinner. Uh, last night with and some uh, wonderful woman had a great conversation with her. She was like, "Why do you talk like you're like running for senate?" <laughs> also, who has I'd be a like great this experience? Politician. Who has this experience? Well, okay, I was you're, sitting. You're like I was 28. sitting. I was sitting at the bar, and she tapped me on my shoulder, and was like, "What are you eating?" And I'm like, "Oh, this." And then we sparked a conversation. We talked for like two. I hours. don't understand how you live this life. You live a life like a like a. Like a salary man in a movie, and you're like, yeah. you know, traveling to different destinations, or like a vagabond that goes to like the, the RV fuck? meetups. Wait, what's weird in the about middle eating of Nevada dinner? desert? Why are you eating dinner alone at a fucking bar? Because I was in hungry. A hotel. Because I'm out of town on business. Oh my god, it wasn't a hotel; it was a restaurant. Why don't you just come over here? Yeah, I think it was actually. Why don't you hit me up? I had a decadent experience last night. Oh, yeah. Marat texted me. Yeah. What'd he, you guys do? He said, are you in town? I'm like, yeah. But then he never responded. We went to Republic. Oh. It was so good. Yeah, I saw it. Damn, I could have been invited so that It was so fucking shit. good. The food was incredible. Well, anyways, I was talking, speaking of Italians. Uh -huh. I was Boys talking, night, no girls allowed. I was Sorry, Judy. I was talking That's to this fine. I was talking to this lady, and she's really nice. Really uh -huh. wonderful. But she said to me, we were talking about race for some reason. We got down that's that. That's weird. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Fuck? Okay. That's, well, I don't know. That's not a normal. Well, thing. I was talking about sexuality. She was talking about race. It was uh -huh. like a really good discussion. Go on. And she said. Uh, I'm eating this last She's one. like, my Italian friend says she's white. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And she's like, but she's not. She's Italian. I said. What? I said, wait, wait. What do you mean? I was like. She's like, she's a, she's a person of color. And I was like, okay, that's not true though, right? Italians are white, aren't they? I thought Italians are white. Yeah, that's why it's a meme in my we community. cut this out of the podcast? Oh. Uh-oh, Austin's offensive again. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, Italians are 100% white, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? Anyway, that was That's literally the joke that I make all the time. I'm not, I'm not white, I'm Italian. Yeah. Italians are POC. That's a joke. Anyway. But, that, but Italians uh, do think that they're people of color. Yeah. I had, a, I had a dream last night mm. that I um, was in high school and I asked Germa to prom. And I put a lot of work into asking him. And <coughs> I, like, made a big Lego baseball field because he loves baseball. And I, like, wrote prom on it. And then if you took the pieces apart, you'd find the letter to my name. So he had a fun puzzle. And I showed up to school on Monday. We're in high school. And I'm like, Germa, you're and so I'm like, weird. Germa, do you want to go to prom with me? And he's like, we're too old for prom. And I was like, what? And he was like, I'm too old for prom. And I was like, huh? And he's like, you're too old for prom. And then I became like aware that you were like, old, too old for that prom. I was like too old for prom. And that, and he was like, why are you in a high school? And I was like, oh my God. And he was like, why are you asking me to prom? And I was like, oh my God. You know, and I, then never, I woke up. I never went to prom. I went with a cardboard cutout of Justin Bieber. Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't have, we don't have proms in Turkey, but I, I'm happy. Well, both of us are, all of us are really cool then. I never had a prom date or anything. I was such a loser in high school. Such a fucking Does loser. anyone from high school like follow you? Uh, I've had a couple people figure it out, but no. They probably don't understand it. They don't get it. Yeah. And that's okay. They're uh, like Austin from high school is like trying to make it. Why was it? Yeah. <laughs> He's like flying to LA. We don't know what he does. Um, I don't know what you do. Yeah, I don't know. None of us know what you do. Yeah, none we, of us know how you afford it. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> I don't know either. I have no idea. But <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, I was not very popular in high school. I know it's hard to believe. I have no idea. I'm sure people follow me from high school. From it's in Turkey, like, yeah. But it's just like so funny to think, you know. No one follows me. These are like lawyers and doctors oh. and. Like yeah. housewives. What'd you do to them? Well, I'm like Hannah Montana. I didn't have social media before because I hate social media. So I don't yep. have social. I did not have social media before this. I don't have a Facebook. I don't have anything. And then I started streaming and then I had to make it all. 
And so like no one just like ever followed me because it's not under Blair. So if they were to search me from high school, it'd be Blair in my last name. Yep. They can't find me. So Blair Cinderella. Yeah. Blair Cinderella, my last name. <laughs> um, so yeah, no one, no one from high school has like said anything to me. One, one time, uh, a hoss frog actually, um, was he's, he was best friends with my ex-boyfriend and he, he reached out. He was like, hey, uh, this is a weird question, but do you know Hassan? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And he was like, he was like, I watch a stream all the time. Are you Cutie Cinderella? I was like, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So I, Hassan docks me. I'm getting I that very clear. Do you get recognized a lot? No. Really? Yeah. Really? I I don't really I'm so basic kinda. looking. That me too. It just, yeah, it just we, doesn't. We, we just, I just we blend in we with blend society. In. I've been, noticed more of them with six foot five Hassan. That I, four. Well, with 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 his seven inch heels. That he okay, I do wear p- platform boots. You right. have like you because you wear platform boots. You have like made it seem you make everybody around you seem short. Like, On purpose. People think I'm five six because I stand next to you in heels. In heels? Oh, he wears, he's wearing. He wears I wear boots. the platform dogs, but like, but I don't really wear it that often. Well, all the pictures that I get, I'm making fun of my hider next to you in heels. I'm not that. I'm not that short. Are they though? I'm not that short. Am I'm five in nine. In all the photos, uh, look, you're on your tippy toes at least. I don't huh. want to be in the thumbnail. Can we agree on this now as a team? Why? I don't want to be in it. Why? Look at my face. Cutie. I'm very mad that my hair and makeup and clothes aren't done. Cutie, we need you. I don't want to be in it. Cutie, you, I don't want to. You have no choice. No. We'll airbrush. Put, oh, Bernie, put we, Bernie in it. Why don't we Wait. Ya- <gasps> why don't we yassify your face? Yeah. Like insane. Let's yassify. Let's yassify me, please. I'll do it. Actually, just download the app, Marsh. I keep telling you. It's called yeah. Face App. No, it's Face App. Face App. Download Face App and Yassify me. And then everyone in... Yeah, Face App. Yeah. And then everyone in the comments, tell me how good I look in the thumbnail, please. Everybody in the comments, tell Cutie Cinderella how good she looks. Yeah, because I've been right. Yassified. Should all of us be Yassified? I don't mind. Yeah, it'll be fun. Oh. This is going to be our best thumbnail we ever. We need to make sure that the algorithm takes, so Hassan just got to be his bare face. Yeah, you can't. We need your face. In we need thumbnail. your clout. <laughs> Are you mad Will's not here? No. Do you like us? Be honest. Yes. What kind of question is that? He likes us, Austin. How does it feel that we've taken over your podcast? I love it. I'm, I'm happy because uh, if Will wasn't here, I would be struggling to find a guest. Last yeah. second, as always. Yeah. Well, next and week we have a fun guest. We do. Yeah. But we'll talk about it on the paywall episode. <gasps> nice. Which is actually a good Wait, phrase to Wait, do we have enough up. time? Yeah. What's normal? Hour. What uh, what's normal time? An hour. An hour. An hour. I don't know. I've been looking at the clock. I saw the clock over there. Yeah. It's oh. actually a great segue because we will be moving on <gasps> to the paywall proportion of the broadcast. Milf Manor. Where we will be watching Milf Manor. That's right. And I'm going to order food. Yep. And Wait, I'm going to order we, food too. Again, uh, no, like I'll I said, order for you. Like but I, I said want in the that Hassan, same place. Okay. Oh, okay. Like I said on the Hasanabi broadcast, uh, Hassan starves us for two hours and then gives us a little jolt of food to get us through the going to give us That's one insane. That's Snickers insane. bar. I am so Non-stop tired. eaten since you've been in this house. I have eaten chips, Mentos, gum, and... I always steal your gum. Nibbled on Literally it. Literally always. I have a free gum. It's you guys. so awesome. Yeah, I don't pull the wrong gum. You may get a get the spins. I don't get that gum. Anyway, regardless, <laughs> uh, this has been a wonderful episode. Uh, we've convinced Cutie Cinderella to come with us to London in the uh, near future. Let's call my uncle. And she said she's super down, so we're going to hold her accountable. Austin has unplugged his microphone one more time, so it doesn't matter what he has to say in this. No. Go ahead. You just try to tap a sure SM7B. You don't. That doesn't work. Oh, you could like you have to smack it. But yeah, he, he did one of these like little baby touches. Oh, okay, <laughs> it's hey, not gonna work. Have you ever anyway. podcast before? Sorry, oh. finish the outro. No, he has not. He does not create content, as you know. I do. <laughs> Allegedly, I'm coming out with some a lot of great stuff this year. Okay, well, go go ahead. This is your time to plug whatever you're coming it's out with. Almost four months in. Name your prize season two. When? You three. said that last time. Season three. Okay. You, you I said can't th- tell you the date. It's coming soon. Uh, Pretty sure you plugged name. New talent place. show. I asked you to do a talent show series. last year so the winner could play at the Streamer Awards. Well, we'll do that for this year. We'll, we'll make the winner play at the Streamer Awards this year. He never does it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll make the winner play at the Streamer Awards this year. Uh, so that's coming up. Um, Lover Host. 
With like who? Episodes, I can't tell you. My God. He's lying. I, no, I literally can't tell you. I will tell you in the paywall episode. No, he's he's lying. Cutie, what about you? What kind of fun projects do you want to promote? Uh, April is the month of Beyblade tournament. That's coming. Ooh, that's huge, exciting. huge. Uh, May, we've got Master Baker coming back. Austin wants to compete. Yeah, she doesn't like, she doesn't want me though because she liked my post and didn't respond. Well, I didn't respond to anybody. Rama, I don't not respond special. to anyone. She said you're not special. She also, I don't know if you have what it takes. I oh. definitely am a terrible cook. It's a nine to five for five days. I don't think he's ever made content okay, like that Okay, he's in. Before. He's in. It's, he Wait, said he wanted to. Wh- when so. is it? I don't know yet. It, I'll work around your schedule. I'm very busy. <laughs> it's in May. I actually am busy. Well, but, if you well, get eliminated, then it only takes... No, but I will, I will be there for you. Okay, he'll be there. Anyway. I, I need you on my talent show. Master Baker. Oh. Well, there are some dates that you should keep open. Why? Don't worry about it. I'm not going to London. Just don't worry about it. But that's what we need to figure out. We'll well, you are out. going to London. So. I feel bad for the people watching this outro. Why? They <laughs> love us. So. Anyway, I don't have anything. Just check out my streams. No one watches my streams and it feels, <laughs> it feels bad. So I love watching your streams. I come in and Thanks. I come in for attention and leave. Yeah, but that's, that's not everybody. helpful. That's every stream. That's for every stream. Yeah, Hassan called me the fuck out the other day. He he was pissed. You were you were mad, weren't you? Wait, well, I don't even remember. Dude, you were you were like I, I was like trying to antagonize you and like say something. Oh yeah. And you're like, oh look, Austin's begging for attention again, and then just kept scrolling. Oh, spicy. I felt like it was it was it was like you were actually upset. Were you actually? I upset? think it's funny because yeah. you go to a chat and you resubscribe and you're like it. LOL, and then you like go to another chat, and then you yeah, like say something. Yeah, I hop something. around chat. Yeah. No, you're a slut. Like yeah, you're 100. Yeah. And you probably immediately went back in the hot score to be like, uh, "Did you guys like that? Come they on, give me attention." It. They loved it. Yeah. yeah, so much. I know what you do. I know your ways. I'm I'm very I'm very predictable. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Fear and. We are going to be watching Milf Manor on the paywalled version of this episode. Please subscribe to our Patreon, where we will be leaking next week's guest. Of the podcast. Wahoo. And, and, and watching a other And a bunch of other fun stuff. All right. You're not leaking anything. Peace Bye. Out, everybody. Bye, everybody. I love that about her. You like that. Yeah, it stresses me out. She's perfect for this show. <laughs> she's the yeah. Oh, she she's great for the show. She's perfect in general. I think she's perfect at life. Okay, cool. Yeah. I love her. <laughs> Honestly, Disco loves... Mommy slide. Yeah. Well, because like, because, you know, she's just like a bit of a hoe. And she's just having fun. She's just having fun with it. Whereas all the other moms are like, I'm here for love. It's like, dude, come on. None of them are going to fall in love. Disco mommy's like, give me a penis. I want to suck it. I want to suck your cock. Give it to me. And I love that about her. Okay. I love living her best life.